on page uh, 25914, yes? Okay, so uh, let's have a look and see. Uh, Anyone need me to do one part one? One part two? One part three? One part four? That's all no. Right? Two? Part one? Anyone? Two part two? Two part two. Right, okay. So, two part two reads, um, the slope of the line is three fifths, and the point is. Can Haley Q come to reception, please? Right, so the three fifths and the point is minus four two. So find the equation of the line. So it's y minus y one equals m into x minus x one. So remember, m is the slope, so m is 3 fifths, and x1, y1 is here. So you never fill in for x and y, or only for x1 and y1. So it's y minus 2 equals 3 fifths into x minus minus 4. Is that okay? Everyone see where the two minuses came from? Two minuses in a row would give me a plus. Right. Now you can multiply in by the three fifths, get a common denominator. When you've everything evened up, drop the common denominator. That's the long way, right? The short way is, right, you take what's underneath the line. So what's underneath the line of five. So you multiply up top here by five, right? And you leave the three over this side, x plus four. Okay, and then multiply out to get five y minus 10 equals three x plus 12. Everything over to the left, x term first. So 3x comes over, becomes minus 3x. Right? 5y is here already, so it stays as a plus 5y. Minus 10 is on this side already, so it stays as minus 10. Plus 12 comes over the wall and becomes a minus 12. Equals 0. So that's minus 3x plus 5y plus 2, sorry, minus 22, minus 22 equals naught, right, okay, and you change all the signs, right, okay, um, sorry, if this was a text for me, you would stop there, because that gets you full marks, but you like to check your answers at the back of the book, and just so you know, they always have the X term positive in the book, so they have changed that to just change all the signs. 3y, 3x minus 5y plus 22 equals 0, and that's the answer they have in the back of the book. But look, if you were doing a test for me, leave it like that, and I'll give you a full mark. But uh, just so you're able to check your answers at the back of the book, they're the exact same line. Okay? Right. Is that okay? Right, that was 2 part 2. I gave you number 3. 3 part 1? Anyone? 3 part 2, 3 part 3, 3 part 4, nope, and then 4, anyone for number 4, no, right, okay, what example did I finish the last day, I'm staying on the same section, right, okay, right, say that again, yeah, well, would you lose marks if you didn't? No, you didn't. But you'll see that any time they give you the equation of a line, it's normal to have the x term first. But if you did wrote the y term first, you wouldn't lose any marks. Okay? Right, so what am I going on to? Example what? Four. So I'm going on to example four. Right? Okay. So find the equation of the line. which contains the points
minus 2, 3, and 3 minus 1. Now, they want me to find the equation of the line. So I know my formula to find the equation of the line is y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. Right. So in order to fill out that line, out that equation, what do I need? What do I need to fill that out? I need m is the slope. You need the slope and you need one point, isn't it? Do I have the slope? No. Do I have one point? I have two points. I can use either or. Right? So I have no slope. So I need to get the slope before I can fill this out. Does anyone know how will I get the slope? Yeah, use the slope formula. So the slope is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So my two points are minus 2, 3 and 3, 1. So I'm going to call this x1 y1 x2 y2 okay fill it in so that's y2 is 1 take away y1 which is 3 all over x2 is 3 take away y1 is minus minus 2 right so minus minus 2 becomes a plus 2 so that's minus 2 over 5 so the slope of that line is minus 2 over 5 okay Right, so over I come over here, so I know my slope, I've just got it, it's minus 2 over 5. Which point will I use? Any, right? I can use any of them, I'll end up with the same answer, right? So it doesn't matter which point you use, you'll end up with the same answer. I'm going to use 3, 1. Why am I going to use 3, 1? Why, why did I choose 3, 1? Because there's no minus signs to mess me up. Okay, but they wouldn't mess me up anyway, but I'm making life a bit easier, right? So it's y minus 1 equals minus 2 fifths into x minus 3. So when I have a fraction, you take what's underneath the line, which is a 5, multiply up top over this side. So it's 5 times y minus 1 equals minus 2 times x minus 3 sorry yeah sorry so multiplying out I get 5y minus 5 equals minus 2x plus 6 and then I rearrange x term first y term number equals 0 minus 2x comes over and goes first so it becomes a plus 2x 5y is here already so it stays as a plus 5y Minus 5 is over this side already, so it stays at minus 5. I need to bring over the plus 6, so when the plus 6 comes over the wall, it becomes a minus 6. And equals 0, there isn't a thing left on that side. Right? So that's 2x plus 5y minus 11 equals 0. And I don't need to change the sign this time because the x term is positive. Okay? Yes. When, yeah? Um, is it minus, is it negative 2, 5, or is it negative 2 over 5? It can be minus 2 over 5, or it can be 2 over minus 5, right? Either way, it doesn't matter which way you, you move it, you know, you just leave one minus sign. You don't put a, a minus with the two of them, because two minuses make a plus, so you've cancelled it out. So you either put the minus with the top number, or you can put the minus with the bottom number, it's your choice. So here I put it with the top number. I normally tend to put it with the top number, but it's equally correct to put it with the bottom number and leave the top term positive. Is that okay? Right. Any other questions? Yes, Olga. Um, do we, does it matter which one? Can you get no link up to reception now, please? Sorry, I just called you Alga. You're not Alga. You were you were in disguise because we've got a big woolly hat on and whatever. Sorry. All right. Okay. You probably should tell me you're cold because all the windows are open because that would be an acceptable excuse. But bad hair day, not so much. Right. Okay. So go on anyway. It doesn't matter which point you use. So if you use the point minus two, three, you'd end up with the exact same answer.
by the time you multiply it out and tidy it up, you'll end up with the exact same answer. Okay? Right? Is that all right? Any other questions for me? Right. I'll give you a few of those for homework in a while. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on as well. Right. Because you all get that, don't you? That is to calculate the slope first. Okay. So, page 259. Oh, stupid pens. I'm sick of them. Right, okay, I'm going to move on, right, okay, so here I've been telling you, giving you a point and a slope, right, and asking you for the equation. In the next section, I'm going to give you the equation and ask you for the slope and the point, okay, right, so here I've been giving you the slope and the point, or a way to get the slope and the point, and asking you for the equation, right, in the next section... I'm going to say, here's the equation, what's the slope and the point? Okay? Is that all right? Does everyone understand what I'm doing next? Right. Okay. So, let's do it. So, stop talking about it. Right. Okay. So, if we have, um, we basically, there's another equation of a line formula. So, equation of a line formula. There's a second one. If you look in the log tables, under equation of a line there's the formula we've been using, y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. But there's also this other equation, right, which is y equals mx plus c. Right? Okay? So it's you. we're going to be using this formula, y equals mx plus c. Right? I'm going to show you the long way. And then at the end of this section, I'm going to give you a shortcut. Okay? Right? But you need to know the long way as well. Okay? So y equals mx plus c. What do you think m stands for? What what does m stand for? The slope. It always stands for the slope. It's the only one that's got a letter. Right? And c is stands for, girls, the y-intercept. Now, what the hell do I mean by the y-intercept? I mean the... Anyone hazard a guess? If I have x-axis, y-axis, and here's a line. Say, yeah, exactly, it's where it crosses the y-axis. So the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, girls, and that is the point not c. So whatever that number is there, right? For example, so example one. So I'm going to give you an equation of the line. So the equation of the line is y equals 3x minus 2. Now, it's not in the form I'm used to, sure it's not? Right? Normally I have x term, y term, number equals 0. Right? It's just rearranged for you. Okay? Right? So, I normally have x term, y term, number equals 0. This I have rearranged for you. So, the slope, and I said find the slope and the y-intercept. So, find the slope and the point where it crosses the x-axis and point and the point line crosses the y-axis. Okay. So this one is, because I'm starting out, I gave it to you, a re rearrange for you. So your first step is you rearrange it so you have y equal to everything else, right? Which is done here, isn't it? So it's rearranged for me. And the slope, girls, is the number in front of x, because the formula is y equals mx minus 2. So it's y equals mx plus c. So, M is the slope. So, what's the slope of this line, please? Three. Three. Yeah, it's just the number in front of X. Right? Okay. And the Y-intercept is not C. Right? Sorry, this way? And the Y-intercept is not C. So, what is C here? What, what's C? Minus two. Very good. Okay, so there you go. 
So I gave you the equation, and from the equation, you were able to tell me the slope and a point. Right? Okay? Example two. Um, I'm going to leave you, write that down because I want to rub it off and... Is it down? No. Move it. Up, that way. C is minus two, yes. Right, we ready? Right. Example two. So the line is y equals 2x plus 4. Right, find the slope and the point where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay. So tell me, so y equals 2x plus 4. Again, I don't need to arrange it. The next example, I'll have to rearrange it before I start. Right. So, uh... The slope, girls, is the number in front of x. What's the slope? What's the slope? 2. And the y-intercept is 0, whatever that number is. What's that number? 4. Right? There we go. Is that right? That's all you have to do. It has to be in that form. It has to be y equals. So in the next one, I'm going to look at one that's not in that form. Okay, so we have to put it in that form. Example 3. That's the point where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? And how did I get it? It's always zero something, right? Okay, so it's always zero something, and it's zero that number there, okay? And it's where the line crosses the y-axis. Right. Okay, are you ready for example three? Can I move it up? Right, example three. Find the slope and the y-intercept of 3x plus y minus 7 equals naught. Now it's in the form we're used to, isn't it? Right, but in order to read off the slope and the, the, um, the y-intercept, it has to be y equal to everything else. So leave the y... Bring over the 3x. What happens to the 3x when it comes over? Minus 3x. And bring over the minus 7. What happens to the minus 7? It becomes a plus 7. And then what's the slope of this line, please? Minus 3. Sorry. Slope is minus 3. And what's the y-intercept? 0, 7. Is that okay? Are we all all right? So one more example, example four, when you put that written down, I'm going to change it, yes. Is it just the, is it always the zero, the zero yeah, it's always zero something, because if you think, it's where it cuts the y-axis, so that's like zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, minus two, etc. Do you know, it's always zero something, right? Okay, are we okay? Can I rub that off? Can I change this to example four? 
right and I'll change it to um, 2x plus 3y minus 1 equals 0 okay now this one is different because all the ones so far have been 1y this one is 3y okay so what I do is I leave my y term where it is and I move everything else over so bring the 2x over the wall it becomes minus 2x bring the plus 1 over the wall and becomes a plus 1 right then I need to do now what's stuck to the y I want y on its own so I have to unstick this what 3 so how do I unstick that 3 divide everything by 3 so divide by 3 divide by 3 divide by 3 is that okay right they cancel y is equal to now just put the fraction together here and put the x after it so instead of saying minus 2x over 3 that's the same as minus 2 over 3x same thing okay is that all right plus one third so what is the slope now what's the slope of this line please minus two thirds isn't it and what's the y intercept zero one third when you um if you just bear with me a second i'm just going to rub that off again right so leave the y term right equals bring over the min the 2x it becomes minus 2x bring over the plus one or the minus one it becomes plus one is everyone with me so far right then i need to unstick that three so that means divide by three but i can't just do it to one term i have to do it to every term okay so when you divide by three the threes cancel you get y just put the fraction here in front of the x and there's the fraction there does whoever asked me that question because I have no idea who's speaking with the math okay is it okay whoever asked me that question is it clear yeah okay right will I do one more example one more right okay so example five find the slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line at three no wait now let go I go x minus 2y plus 3 equals 0 okay now right so the first thing I have to do what am I going to do what's my first line going to read minus 2y very good equals what minus x minus 3 agreed what am I going to divide everything by minus 2 so divide by minus 2 divide by minus 2 divide by minus 2 okay right so they cancel and you get y now a minus divided by a minus is a plus would you agree now what fraction is here there's a two underneath there's nothing on top I can't have nothing on top a half isn't it so there's a one on top and a two on the bottom a half x and a minus divided by a minus is a plus and it's 3 over 2. Is that okay? You with me? You can if you want. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the slope? A half. What's the y intercept? 0, 3 over 2. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a few of those for homework. So I'm going to give you a few where it's rearranged for you already. So we'll do page, sorry, I put down that, where you finish writing that down. Yeah, everything's okay. So page 259, question seven is where you have to get the slope first, okay? And we're going to do page 261, question one, and you're going to do page 262, Question 3.